Welcome back to Clearview Outdoors, where we're giving God the praise again. Just thankful that I can uh, be able to bring you another video. I have in my hand Abu Garcia, Ambassador Beast. <clears throat> this actually belongs to Roger DeMint from Muskrat Adventures. And uh, we've always had the discussion, why does this reel cost so much? And... Uh, how it's different from say the C3 or like a Pro Rocket. So I've done a little investigating. I am going to tear into this reel uh, just to see if everything matches up. One thing uh, I definitely can see and I'm sure you can see too right off the bat is that uh, the frame the frame is beast. It's all aluminum. It's one solid piece of aluminum. You can see there, compared to the other reels, how the um, the base mounts. I mean, that's that is a beast of a reel right there. I'm telling you, uh, it's no wonder they call it that. It's heavy duty. It is heavy. Heavier, see even your Pro Rocket. It's just the same as the uh, C3 Catfish Special, but the outside of it is uh, built. It you know, is like the side plates, um, your handle, the the drag. Um, yeah, like the C3 and this one, they'd have the curve. Man, he's got that drag type. Always back end drags off, guys. It'll last a lot longer. Now the Pro Rocket, it's straight. And it looks like it's made out of maybe stainless steel. Where these may be aluminum. Or some other type of metal. Okay, I am going to start tearing this apart. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go into a lot of detail. Taking it apart and cleaning and all that. Video before this uh, covers all that. Okay, already I can see that, uh, you know, the, the clicker is set up like a pro rocket. Um, something I do see different is that there's a bearing in here. There's not a bearing there on Pro Rocket. Um, bearings are in the spool, and this side does not have a bearing. And it's like the spool is fixed. Where on the C3, you know, it all comes apart. and The bearings are inside here. Ooh, there's something interesting. Got a bearing there. Okay, so, you know, from the research I've done, the uh, Beast has seven bearings. So we found one there. Uh, there's one here on this side of the worm gear. Uh, the C3s, Pro Rockets, they do not have that bearing there. I thought that was awful smooth. And there's a bearing in that end. Now, C3 does have this bearing. Pro Rocket does not, which I do not understand. Now, this is something I see different. See where that's uh, maybe stainless steel? The... Beast is brass. But see how there's no uh, bearing there? It's just a bushing. That side, look how look at that frame. I mean, that is beast. Crazy. So solid. Back to the spool, though. Okay, so this is also different. The break out of a C3. And that's made out of metal where this is all plastic, you know. Uh, this is the same in a 
the pro rockets are just like this. It is a bearing. That's a bearing there. So, man, this is set up. This is set up a little different, uh, Roger. So see that there's what turns your uh, your spindle. So it's got these little ears and that locks into that. So that bearing is riding up against your gear in there and causing that to be smoother. Very cool. And this. See that's the plate on a C3. That's definitely all different. This setup here, the way the spindle, the way the spool goes in it is different. The brakes. See there. Is smooth the way that works. Pretty slick. Pretty much just set up just like a uh, Pro Rocket. We got the anti reverse uh, pole thing there that catches in your drive to keep it from going backwards. See? See right there. Even though it has the bearings, these are anti-reverse bearings. They only go one way. This is like an extra thing. Um, C3s do not have them. Uh, some Pro Rockets do and some don't. Because I've taken apart two different ones and one had it and one didn't. There's only one bearing there. There's one bearing there. Down in there. Possibly a bearing in there, and then your two bearings for your uh, worm gear. I don't know, Roger. I think they're ripping you off a bearing. I don't see it. So after uh, cleaning this beast up, um, you know, I did. I did want to bring bring to mind. Um, I thought I'd just lay them both out here and we'd take a little quick look at all the different parts. Um, you know, like I already mentioned that the, the worm gears, you know, this is all brass. This is brass and stainless steel. And also the braking system, you know, um, see on this one, it's, it's like this on the C3s and Pro Rockets. But this is totally different. Totally different setup. This is all like one, you know, the frame. I mean, the frame is, is so noticeable. The difference in, uh, in, in just the way that that frame is made. Um, also, this here, um, as you can see, the braking system. This is where your centrifugal brakes work. And uh, it's just more precision, uh, different material. So I guess that's what you're paying for a lot of with uh, the beast. Um, is, but other than you know those those few things like your drag system, uh, your pinion gears, your your main drive your drive gear, um, all that. Um, is pretty much the same you know i can't see really any difference there you have it that's the beast uh, i'm going to get this thing back together for roger um, so he can get it back into service and uh, we'll get her all greased up oiled up anyway there you have it roger um, i also read a a review on abu's website where a guy said he uh, he could only find five bearings too including that anti-reverse um i think there could be one here see i have a uh, i have a gear here and the bearing goes in behind it um so you can't see it i hope this maybe helps someone um it definitely answers a lot of me and 
Rogers questions. I mean, there's a lot of pros, uh, but maybe a few cons. But one thing about it, it is a beast of a frame. And I do like this spool system. And it's very smooth. So, should be even smoother once I get her all cleaned up and re-greased and oiled and back to Roger. So, there you have it. Until the next one. We got a fish on. See you, buddy.